guys, yet another Friday, here we go. Uh, can I say, before we get started, that I was very surprised by the number of people who were concerned for my welfare last week. Uh, it was a bit of a gruelling one, uh, that I felt sort of uh, surprised and humbled by that, really. Thanks for your support. Uh, I've got Parkinson's, there's nothing I can do about it, so I just have to get on with it, really. There's no cure for it, so you don't, don't have many options, as it were. Uh, a typical um, response was from Michael, Michael from Poland, who said that he thought the film was a success. I hope the Parkinson's didn't give you too much pain. Uh, it's not a pain thing, Michael. It's I get tired quite quickly, get fatigued quite quickly, and then my coordination goes, and once that starts to go, then things get a bit awkward, I have to say. But, um, well, that's the card you've been dealt, and in life you uh, play the cards that... Uh, you're handed down, don't you really? And I have to be honest, I mean there's people with a lot worse problems than I've got. People give their eye teeth to do it, to do what I do, I think. So, if they can manage, I'm sure I can, but thank you, thank you again once again for the support. I do appreciate it. Right, Matters Arising. This is on uh, the vlog from two weeks ago. Nick Jones, he loved the Frost pictures, it brought back lots of memories. He used to live not far from here. And he used to actually sledge down that slope. Blimey. <laughs> and he used to sledge on corrugated iron. He had one or two adventures, I can imagine. Oh my God. Right, Peter Smith. Wasn't sure which he enjoyed the most. The uh, scenery or the music. Uh, he said, congratulations to the head gardener. Well, I'm afraid you're not looking at the head gardener. <laughs> She's out somewhere. Round and about. David Bennett, who loves a nice amble in the frosty mornings. Yep, we've got a few of those uh, coming up. Though David says where he is down in Essex, don't get too many. Oh, always welcome to go up here and share ours. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, you go out in the morning, the sun's out and a little frost around. It's magical, isn't it? You're absolutely right. Yeah. Jim Nichols. Jim's got a guilty secret. A secret safe with me, Jim. Well, Jim says, a lovely close-up tour of Kew Gardens. That's my wife's displays once again. It was even better when I saw it last. I can't keep the secret, Jim. <laughs> Jim's guilty secret. He says, and I quote, I went to Wisley once on one of my visits back home. I was taking a photo and stepped back to get more in, knocking over a very big and no doubt expensive pot in the process. It split completely into, oh my God, what you want what you do? <laughs> the wonder you live in New Zealand, Jim. And I rather suspect that we've got your photograph, mate. And all the customs post, there'll be your photograph there. <laughs> Wait till you come back next time. Sue Mac MacArthur, who's our channel mascot. This week, James Weeks. Sue Mac MacArthur, Ron, too hot to sleep. This is from Canada. We're on too hot to sleep. James is too cheap to turn on the air conditioner. <laughs> James, you tight person. Turn it on. <laughs> James himself. You know, we've been giving James a bit of a hard time with his uh, filming just lately. When I'm back at work teaching in September, I promise to borrow a camera from our lab and shoot an abandoned rail line near here for us to see. Wow. Yeah, that's what we want, James. Go for it. We're going to hold you to that, mate. Wonderful. Lionel Whiten. Yeah, Lionel follows our channel. He says, as you are interested in railways, you might like my latest YouTube effort. It was actually filmed between 2014 and 2017 and been dying on my hard drive ever since. Yeah, I know that feeling. That's where all my film club stuff's coming from at the moment. The older stock. And um, Lionel gives, leaves a link. I'll put it after the um, description. If I remember again, I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave out the description, but if not, you can always go to the comments, pick out Lionel, click on Lionel's button, and you'll get taken straight to the site anyway. And I'll tell you what, it's very well worth a view. There's some beautiful uh, steam train action in it, but also Lionel's one of these guys who knows what he's talking about. And even the, geez, the, the uh, diesel trains, when you've got somebody explaining it to you, who knows what he's on about, it's amazing how much interest there is in it. Brilliant Lionel. So yeah, go and visit Lionel's site. Worth a go. The Below Pill film then. 
train driver Rob. He liked the film and he said, those tramway sets were the highlight for me. Yeah, amazing, weren't they? Uh, goodness knows where they came from. Yeah, just under superb condition. Wonderful, uh, wonderful find. But, uh, I wonder how many people walk over those without realising what they are. Quite a few, I imagine. Uh, Philip Pankhurst. He shares my love of the railway builder's genius and it's great to draw attention to what many would see as just another railway bridge when in fact it's a work of art. Now, a kindred spirit, thank goodness for that. I thought I was the only one that got excited by a, an ordinary, what people say, an ordinary bridge. Uh, brilliant. <coughs> Talking about our bridge, our viaduct, whatever. Philip thinks it's got to be an honorary uh, viaduct. We started our Andrew uh, off and running. Andrew's done quite a bit of research. You, you can catch it again in the comments. Trying to work out the definitive between when does a bridge become a viaduct or a viaduct become a bridge. Now, uh, according to Google, I think it's five or more arches. That's what they say. Um, some people say three or more. But yeah, Andrew's done a lot of work. But I go and read that. That makes a, another interesting read, as always with Andrew's gear. Wonderful. Uh, John T talking about the broad gauge rail fence posts and various says they always amaze me. Difficult enough to bend it longitudinally for normal curves, I should think. They are another railway work of art, aren't they? When you see, especially on things like buffer stops, and I mean, they go in all directions. They're, they're just magical pieces of work, I suppose. Yeah, I agree with that. North by Northwest, Ian, watch this space. You're not seriously going to, are you? Well, you have to wait and see, Ian. You've all got to wait. With patience. Uh, he loved the uh, the harbour and the almost a viaduct. <laughs> if you want to chip in with your version of what's a viaduct and what's a bridge, feel free. You're most welcome. But uh, this week's prize <laughs> goes to Rodney Masters. Don't know where you get it from, I really don't. Marco Polo would no doubt have been proud to have this adventure on his channel if YouTube had existed in 1300. <laughs> I wonder what the YouTube equivalent was. Rodney, I don't know where you get it from. Really, I don't. Thanks for that. Cheer me up. Next week, then, is a return to Bullo. After I came down from trying to get to the bridge and failing, the bridge to tunnel, and uh, failing, you might remember I got down to what was track level, wandered in there to have a look, and if you looked up towards the tunnel, somebody had been through there or something. It could be an animal track, I suppose, couldn't it? Uh, but anyway, something or somebody's been up there, so mm, this preyed on my mind as you would expect. So let's go back and have another look. Now, I think as Jim Nichols uh, said, uh, if you looked at it from the top and uh, the amount of stuff that's fallen in into that uh, cutting, chances aren't much. Excuse me. I changed my recording time today. Hopefully, it'd be gone by now. Oh well, there you go. Uh, yeah, Jim was saying how much rubbish has fallen in there and your chances of getting up there are normally uh, knee deep in water anyway because all the drainage is uh, blocked up but you are nothing then should nothing again, you can't win them all but let's have a go at it and uh, if we can't find that we'll no doubt find something else worth looking at let's give it a go Right, now, film club This isn't for everyone, this is a bit touchy this one um, It's not for everybody I like John Denver and I like Cornwall, put the two together and I'm in heaven. But uh, I realise it's uh, not a choice that everybody would like, so if I don't like it, just turn it off, it ain't a problem. Uh, we do that. I think one of our flock will uh, find it uh, interesting, I think. Um, some one of our flock's been having a bit of a hard time just uh, lately, so hopefully this uh, catches the note just right. And uh, we'll see how, see how we get on with that. Right, so that's the film club all wrapped up. That's this week all wrapped up. So I'll see you next Friday down at Bullo Pill again. Don't be late. Just to look in your eyes again Just to lay in your arms just to be the first one always there for you just to live in your laughter just to sing in your heart 
Just to be every one of your dreams come true Just to sit by your window Just to touch in the night Just to offer a prayer each day for you Just to long for your kisses Just to dream of your sighs Just to know that I'd give my life for you Just the beat of my heart Just the pledge of my life My love for you 